Nth term of the sequence from another MAP pattern. Grade D GCSE level 6 national curriculum. Okay, now it starts off not really being that high level, so we've got to draw pattern number 4. So we've got 2 squares, 2 squares, 3 squares, 3 squares, 4 squares, 4 squares. So pattern number 4, we're going to have 5 squares across the top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then this overlaps by 1, so we need to have the same idea going on here so very poorly drawn we've got five squares and five squares where one overlaps at the end so in the table number of squares um, four six eight well I don't need to draw it to know that's going to be ten and that's going to be twelve find an expression in terms of m for the number of squares in pattern number n so um, this is what we call the nth term so if we wanted to know if I wanted to know pattern number n, how many squares is it going to take? Then I need to look at this sequence we've got already and try to figure out a connection. Now the key thing to do here is to look what it goes up by each time. It goes up by 2 each time. So if I double that, uh, sorry, if that goes up by 2 each time, that tells me this sequence is based on the 2 times table. So if I write down the 2 times table, that's 2n. So 1 times 2, 2 times 2, 3 times 2, 4 times 2, 5 times 2. And then what have I got to do to that to get to this? Well, I've got to add on 2. So this is my 2 times table, because that's the 2n, plus an extra 2. And if I wanted to work out the sixth one, I would times by 2 and add 2. So it would be 6 times 2 is 12, plus 2 is 14. And that would fit nicely onto my sequence. So that's going to be 2n plus 2. So this idea of figuring out what it goes up by each time is the key. Whatever that number is, that's the number of n's if it's the same number. And there we have it.